Hi guys, welcome to my video. This is all about assessment. So basically I'm taking you into Google Forms and each one of my kids has a uh, goal. So this particular student, you're gonna put their name at the top, their goal is gonna go into the description, and then you're gonna have these sections that specifically relate to what the goal is. So this kiddo needs to stay within the boundary line, so I know that boundary uh, participation is going to be one of the first sections. I need him to stay in there for a maximum of 30 minutes at this point. So that's about 75%. So you're gonna add all of those different pieces in there so that uh, you're able to keep track of them. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. You're gonna add another section that talks about assistance. Did he need minimal, moderate, maximum? You probably wanna go ahead and add independent in there as well because that is going to happen. And then the third section is notes and you're gonna do a paragraph form or short answer so that you can write in any sort of notes that you might need. Now here you'll see the responses. You're gonna send that to yourself. So you quick, 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 put in your email, send it to yourself. You can do this multiple times. There is a way where you can do a link, uh, but this way, once you get that email, you can open it up right in your phone. And this is my phone. I'm showing you this is how the form comes. You click on it and it's gonna open it right up so that if you are taking data during class, you're not holding a clipboard, you're not holding um, a big iPad, or you're having not having a computer, you are literally having this in the palm of your hands. And if you have an aide close by or paraprofessional, you can give them your phone or your, or your computer, I suppose, as well, and have them take that data for you. Now we took some data, we're gonna go back to I'm gonna show you actually real quick what it looks like in the email. It's the same kind of thing. You just click it open and you can fill out in Google Forms. Uh, so if you go ahead and click on it, it's gonna take you right to your Google Forms and you can fill it out here as well. There's our responses, so you can click on those responses and now you're gonna get these gorgeous charts. charts. So as you can see, there's these beautiful pie graphs and each one corresponds to the Google form. So you have a percentage of how that student is doing. You can see how many times they needed minimal, maximal, or moderate assistance, and you have all the notes that you've written up. So those can easily be transferred into a form or assessment or anything that you're doing. When you go and click on the Google Sheets, everything is in there. So everything gets time stamped really beautifully and it shows everything so that it's very well organized and easy to see. You can see right there, I'm going through each and every one of them and everything corresponds together. Now, if you wanted to go to your kiddos and you wanted to check out uh, their goal, you would go through the IEP Direct, if that's what you're using, you'd find their goal, you'd go to Motor Skills, and here we have his goal. We're gonna click on it, and we're gonna now add in to this beautiful chart that they have us do. You know, you can now easily track that data because you can put in the information right from your Google form or your Google sheet. So you click on edit, you go back to your Google sheet. It's really easy as copy and pasting. Uh, you have the timestamp there, you have the percentage there, you have the assistance and you have that little note. So this is just a really simple way to keep track of your data to make sure that you're on top of all of these charts and these extra little bits that adaptive PE teachers we need to be doing to make sure that we're providing the best uh, program possible for these kiddos. You would just go ahead and save that. Now this is awesome because you can come back to these part pie charts and you can actually copy them and then go ahead and paste them into your uh, data sheet. So maybe you are presenting at a CSE meeting, maybe it's the annual review and you have to have an annual review report. You can just copy and paste these pie charts right into your report. So all of this data is all together and very simple to see for people that are maybe more visual learners. I know I am. This is a great easy way for them to see exactly how this kiddo is doing. Doing. Again, you could also copy these notes over so you don't have to re rewrite the wheel. You can just copy and paste your notes right in and there you have a beautiful annual review report.